guys, Ben here from the Lego family. Or, as you may very soon know me as, Bricks in Motion. That's right. I'm thinking about changing my name on New Year's Eve. Tell me what you guys think. My new name will be Bricks in Motion. So, leave a comment down below what you think of the new name or if you have any suggestions. I'll gladly look at them. So, today I'm going to be reviewing set 7. Six zero nine five, recommended for ages seven to twelve. It has two hundred thirty-five pieces, and it's called Aquaman Black Manta Strike. It's from the new movie Aquaman, as you can see right there by Aquaman. And I'll get you guys a better look at the box. So there's a better look at the box. You can see it has an action sequence right here. It has Aquaman up there. It has DC Superheroes logo right there. All the information I just told you. And all three minifigures that I'm about to show you. On the back, there are play features. Shows the power blast. Shows another scene with the cockpit open. It shows the shark being taken off the seaweed. And it just shows a picture of Aquaman and Lego.com slash DC Superheroes. So, now I'm going to show you guys the minifigures. So, going from left to right, the minifigures are Black Manta, Aquaman, and Mira. So, first I'm going to show you Black Manta. So, Black Manta has a very interesting headpiece. That comes into two pieces like that and so when you put it back on he has his normal headpiece and this is the same headpiece mold as the other black manta lego put out a few years ago but that one was in the color gray so this one is actually in the color black and so here you can see he has nice detailing on his torso, no detail on his legs, and he has a backpack, probably gives him air through these tubes right here, and these, as shown in the trailer, are laser eyes. So next up is Arthur, or Aquaman. He has a new hairpiece that was only ever in the Justice League sets on Aquaman, and he has new legs and hands because they're green. His trident is just a trident in gunmetal gray and a lightsaber hilt. And then I'll show you his back print and his angry face right there. His angry face, he has white eyes for his angry face. And that's his back print. Now, moving on to Mara or however you pronounce her name. I may be pronouncing it incorrectly, but it's M-E-R-A. So she has a really nice fish scale printing. It's shiny, as you can see in the light. She has power blast pieces, which when you put their hand like this, it shoots away. She has a very nice red hair piece. And then Here's her alternate expression and back of her torso. So, those are the minifigures. And now, moving on to the build. So, there's a little side build that's a little seaweed. And I think the gold represents coral. And, of course, a shark. So, the shark can actually fit on the coral. So it looks like he's swimming and his mouth opens and closes just like any other Lego shark. And he's really cool. It's a very simple build. It's just seaweed, sand, coral, and a bit of water, but it's nice. And then you can take the shark off and have the shark separate from the seaweed. Now moving on to the main build. So the main build is Black Manta's submarine. Obviously, that'd be the main build of the set. It looks really cool. It looks like a manta ray with its fins off to the side. They have these 
flag pieces, previously used as flag pieces. It has this stud shooter on the front. And I just lost all those, so I'll pick those up later. And then it has headlights and a very nice cockpit right here. Space to hold the sword in the back. It fits the sword and Black Manta. And as you can see, he has a little screen that shows him the trident. And a little screen that shows him weather patterns, I think. And he has a tracking monitor. And so this set doesn't use very many stickers. Of course, the two monitors inside the um, vehicle or submarine or whatever you would like to call it. And then, of course, the two stickers out here. And these are printed on the turbines up front. And this is a sticker. So that's five stickers. And it has spring-loaded shooters on both sides, on top of the multi-stud cannon in the center. And then it has the headlights in the front, and the tail could also be used as a weapon in the back. Shink, shink, shink. It's pretty sharp. So, it's just a really nice set overall. It looks really cool, really menacing. I love the color scheme, red and black. Always looks menacing. It's easy to carry. It's very sturdy. And it just has an overall great shape and design. It's very well sloped and curved. And it looks like a manta ray. I would definitely recommend this set. And I definitely recommend it even more if you like the Aquaman movie. Because it comes with the main characters and one of the main villains, of course, Orm is also a main villain. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this set review. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, comment down below if you want to, if you think it's a good idea for me to change my name to Bricks in Motion. And if not, if you have any suggestions, you can tell me in the comment section down below. But for now, this has been Ben from the Lego Family, or as you'll soon know me, Ben from Bricks in Motion. Bye!